So without further ado, I want to introduce Julian and Ariana from Trainline. Great. Thank you. Hi, everyone. So uh, I'm Ariana. I'm a user researcher at Trainline. And here with me is Julian, who is a lead dev uh, on the coach team. So how many of you know Trainline and has used it in the past? Raise your hand. And how many among you have used it to buy coach tickets? Four. <laughs> how many of you knew that Trainline sells coach, actually? So, except people that work at Trainline, of course. Okay. But, um, where is the cheeky cheeky? Here. Oh, I didn't test this, was it? Yay. But Trainline does indeed sell coach for 97, sorry, tickets for 97 coach companies in 45 countries. Uh, it all started back in 2013 when SNCF opened, uh, started selling the tickets for ID bus. Uh, at the time it was called ID bus, then it switched to WeBus, and then it's now blah blah bus. Uh, hard to follow. But um, it was only natural for Trainline uh, to, at the time was Captain Train, to start and selling that as it was a way to add more value for our customers. Um, there are some countries and cultures in, in which the coach culture is much stronger. For example, in the US uh, or in Canada or in Spain, it, coach is often one of the main modes of transport that is considered with train uh, when we talk about uh, public transport. Um, and it, we have a good network for coaches, uh, lots of routes, proper bus stations, but it's not really the case in all the European countries. Uh, for example, in France or Italy, uh, it, does, uh, it, it carries quite a stigma of being uncomfortable, long journeys. It really evokes school trips, group trips. So not really fun. It doesn't sell the dream of traveling. Um, so uh, it, uh, still, we have people that do enjoy coach. Um, and I'd like you to hear it from some coach travelers from France, Spain, Italy, and the UK. Price of the train tickets were absolutely extortionate. Um, over £150, I think, the tickets to Cardiff on the train, whereas the mega bus costs about £15 each. For a reason very simple, of course, the price, because if I had traveled on the train, it would have cost me about three times more. And there, the price of my trip was €12. Euros. Sicuramente sarebbe stato più comodo uh, effettuare il viaggio con uh, il treno, però uh, sul sito Go Euro ho trovato un'offerta molto più conveniente uh, sui Pullman, quindi ho deciso di optare per, uh, per quello. Bueno, antes de elegir el autobús, elegimos, eh, probamos buscando trenes y buscando aviones, pero estaban muy caros por la fecha eran los precios muy elevados y los horarios no, no eran buenos. En cambio, el autobús nos ofrecía horario nocturno y bueno, y tenía pantalla con series, entonces tampoco nos pareció tan mala opción. Entonces, si yo decidí de viajar en autocar, tout simplement, c'était parce que j'avais le seul comment dire, c'était la seule possibilité qui s'offrait à moi. Euh, j'avais pas envie de prendre forcément ma voiture pour éviter toute cette fatigue qu'on peut avoir par rapport à la conduite il n'y avait pas forcément de train ou d'avion pour se rendre là où je devais me rendre donc euh, cet autocar euh, était euh, plus, que le, plus que le moyen de locomotion euh, adapté euh, pour mon voyage there's going to be lots of changes and it's going to take a long time but it was much better than catching loads of different trains 
Mi conse el consejo que le daría a otras personas es que aunque piensen que es un viaje que puede ser muy incómodo porque son muchas horas de autobús, es, al contrario, ahora los autobuses son muy cómodos, es, eh, es, son comodísimos. Eh, eh, el no tener que, que pla planear un viaje eh, cuando llevar tú el coche, eh, el llevar tú el coche es muy incómodo y en una ciudad que no conoces. Coches no son como antes. They used to be cramped and uncomfortable. Now they're luxurious, they've got the amenities on, and you get to see a bit of the countryside as you're going. And if we pick the right coach, it, coach trip, the old coach just talks to each other, and it's a very sociable, pleasurable experience. We prefer traveling by coach. It's fun, and I can't wait for my next one. So apparently coach isn't that bad after all. Um, uh, there are some themes that came out, but let's look at who these coach are. These are data coming from the French market only, uh, but the, if we look at other European countries, we don't get that much far from this. Uh, if we look at the national coach travelers by age range, we can see that they're quite distri well distributed. Uh, but then if we compare it to the national population distribution, we can actually see that under 25 and over 60 are overrepresented when, we, when it comes to traveling by coach. This means that these people will tend to choose coach. And as we saw during the video, when it comes to traveling, it's really about considering different modes and evaluating what's the best uh, for oneself. Um, and Probably these are also the people that have more times, the most times in their hands, and are looking for a cheap way to travel. Um, another interesting data, and this goes back to 2016, is that uh, French travelers said that they would have not traveled had it been for the opportunity to do so with cheap coach tickets. So, What Coach did in the re most recent years in Europe is democratizing traveling for a lot of people that could have not uh, afforded otherwise. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And it all only made sense uh, for a train line to, to start and sell coach tickets as well. But when uh, back in 2013, uh, it was still called Captain Train, um, so maybe we can talk later with Jeremy about rebranding. Um, it was kind of hard uh, to understand how to do so. First of all, we only started with one carrier, um, and it was all about train. I mean, the brand itself was set to be all about train. That's what we said, and it was called Captain Train, and now it's Train Line, and many of you didn't even know it. Um, so there was uh, a challenge to raise awareness on our product already. Um, in Let It Go, when, when it was about, uh, about coach, it was even uh, more of a challenge. Um, but there are evident traveler's benefits, as we heard before. First of all, price, because coach tickets tend to be cheap. Um, the route coverage, as they don't have rails, so they can actually reach places that train can't, for example, ski resorts. Um, It's also convenient, as we heard, because it can be direct trips where trains might need uh, a change. And um, by combining train and coach, we get a greater offer for our travelers, and it's still a unique selling point for train line. Um, at the beginning, uh, the real challenge that the product had to answer design-wise was to differentiate the one carrier that we had for coach from trains. And so what we did was actually just adding a logo at the beginning. This was still back in 2000, and this was actually 2014. But, um, and then moving on, things started really to change in 2016. This is because the market exploded and Trainline was on it. And we started selling coach in Spain in 2016. And Spain, again, is a country where uh, coach is huge. And people, uh, because the train network is not that well developed, so coach is a real alternative for people for traveling. And then in 2017, we also started to sell Flixbus, uh, who started selling coach throughout Europe. And then coaches in Italy and shuttle buses from uh, both two cities. 
So we passed from selling one coach carrier to 53, basically in 2018, if I'm not wrong. Um, and that came with its challenges. And I'll let Julianne talk to you about that. Yes, tech challenges. The first challenges is, uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you. Uh, we get a lot, a lot of bus stop. Uh, so on every carrier, they name the bus stop differently. They, uh, some carriers will name the bus stop with in their own language, some in the language of the country of the bus stop. So we just need to match the bus stop you know, and get a single database. And uh, also, when you have a bus stop, it just a point in the street. Uh, you can add a bus stop just by printing something and putting it, it in the wall. When creating a new train station, it takes years. You are not, you know, when the train station will open because even if often it's been even late. So <laughs> we need we need also to have automatic system to ingest the new station. On the yeah. So. This is a problem we get, we get with the coach stations. When we, we have a lot, this example is Vienna Airport. You see we get, we get Vienna in the different language uh, different for a various provider. Uh, for example, uh, we get in German, Vienna Flughafen, sorry for my German. Uh, in French, Aeroport de Vienne, I'm much better. <laughs> and uh, you even get the name of the airport, Vienna Schwitz. I don't even know how, how to do it on Terminal 3 on uh, differently. So we, we made a system that will try to guess from the name and from the GPS position what is if it's the same station or not. So we get we, we compute the proximity on the, based on the various source information we have. We are getting to merge the station together. So we got some UX challenges also. Hey, we have a lot of coach to sell, but hey, now we don't see the train. Uh, so it's made a long, very long list. Also, uh, the problem with the coach, uh, it's just um, sometimes uh, a point in the street. Also, people don't find it uh, when it's a train station. You can't miss a train station. It's so big that it's hard to miss. Uh, but a bus stop, uh, even with a smartphone, could be hard to find. So, um, okay. Okay. So uh, another problem we get is was um, we have we got a lot of uh, results for the same same bus uh, because a train generally stop only in a one point of the city, but a bus a bus will stop uh, at the city door at the airport. It can be multiple stops in the middle of the city. So. We made a technology to deduplicate uh, a bus journey to keep only the ones that are relevant to the user or the cheapest. Uh, so we try to guess um, what is the central bus station of the city to only offer this to the customer, uh, or the, if the customer will ask for a specific bus station uh, or train station, will return a result closer to this one. On on this one, uh, you can see that we have added a map button, so the user can can click on the map and get the exact position of the bus stop. We didn't have this for the train station before, and we have started to add this feature. Um, and we also added the, the you see the small uh, this route is served by a bus. It's just to remember that people, it's a bus, uh, because you probably don't know some brand we are selling that are bus. If you are an American customer or if you are traveling in Europe, we are seeing so much different bus companies that it's just hard to know. Thank last last uh, improvement we made, uh, it was in the first iteration of the product. Uh, we made uh, this small link, bus results are available. Uh, if we don't, uh, if we have a lot of train, we are hiding the bus behind this link on just by putting this link, this link at the end, we, we add the awareness that we are also selling coach results. And also, add, uh, after that, we added a filter because people were complaining that they wanted to see only bus or, or mixed results or only trains. So we made the improvement. But 
it was not nice in the product. Uh, you get this selector for, for the fares on this filter above. So we moved to a, to a design where we have two tabs, one for the bus and one for the train. So it's much clearer, much beautiful. Um. Yeah. Well, to finish some final th thoughts, as you saw, um, clearly the mission of the product was to let people come to us for train because that's uh, what we what, what, that's what we call out to do, and that's what we do mainly. But give them also a chance to consider coach. Um, and it's a fast-growing market. We have more and more carriers uh, jumping in the market. Um, people are getting familiar with it, as we saw, and we hear um, more and more feedback. Uh, carriers are getting better, comfort is increasing, um, the offer is, um, is expanding. So we do believe in Coach, and Trainline will keep on working to provide the best experience to our travelers for everything that is Coach-related. And that would be it. Thank you. <laughs> Any questions? Who has a question? If no one else wants to start it, I actually have a question maybe. Is that Go. okay? Is that permitted? I think you can. Um, I wondered if you could speak more about, <clears throat> like, especially in a sustainable and environmentally friendly environment for transportation, if you could share a little bit about uh, your process in designing for uh, a transportation mode that is just like a, a more equitable, sustainable mode of transportation, especially compared to air airlines. And, Absolutely. And also then you working on trains in your day to day life, like how that compares and what it, it's like to design for that. Absolutely. So um, I don't have um, exact numbers on this, but I can tell you that train is the number one most sustainable way of traveling in transportation. If we look especially at, so there are different ways of looking at this. Uh, some of the data looks at how stations are built and maintained. Uh, we don't tend to take that into consideration uh, because that is work that will be done. It's usually done once and then uh, you tend on um, leveraging that cost impact on the environment enough. Uh, but if we take that out and we look at the uh, grams of CO2 consumed per passenger per kilometer, uh, train, and especially uh, TGV, actually in France at least, is the number one most sustainable, trains in general, and coach is number two. It's still, there's a good delta to be honest, but it's still very sustainable compared to cars, even car sharing, because we're talking about per passenger per um, kilometer, and uh, of course plane, which is huge. Um, so yeah, this is why coach was felt as a good fit for train line because it really uh, corresponds to our mission. There were some shots fired there about car sharing, but I know I would <laughs> emphasize that all of the companies that we're featuring tonight have an amazing story to tell yeah. about trying to reduce CO2. Um, because if we can all share, if we can all uh, take alternative modes of transportation that does go a long way to try to lower the impact of short haul flights. Um, forgive me if anyone works at like EasyJet here. <laughs> um, who, who else has a question? Anyone? Yeah? Do you see or do you fear um, the, the possibility of your service and your company being used to um, uh, wage uh, some kind of war against investment in, tra in train uh, in the aspect that you're providing a service uh, for a coach and the fact that uh, even in countries like France where the, the train, uh, train uh, railway is uh, developed but there, there is uh, an urge to, to uh, reduce investment in the, in the infrastructure and we, we see that it's still a, an issue uh, in, in our country. So uh, do you see, do you hear as a feedback the fact that uh, uh, politics are um, using the, the, your, 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 your success to reduce investment in railway? Or is it, um, is it really living, co coexisting with a train and, and just uh, you are providing a solution where train won't ever be uh, developed? 
Um, so I think if I get your question right, um, of course there are probably going to be people at Trainline that are will be better suited to answer this, but I will try to do my best. Um, we don't see coach and train as competing. As I was trying to say, we more see it as uh, adding more value to our offer as a combination. Um, regarding to your question, I think it's the complexity of it goes into politics, um, which I don't feel prepared enough to speak, but for what I know, and for the recent investment that uh, the Ministry of Transportation was doing, it appears that still for everything that is the transport routier, the, the road transport, um, it, for anything that is shared, actually, like coach, it goes in the good direction for them as well, so it is sustained. Uh, but I don't see how train would be penalized by that, to be honest at least in France. Maybe I didn't understand your question. Because the issue is for regional service. Um, more and more it, it yeah. is um, a struggle for, for communities to, to find the support from politicians and to, to have the, the railway network uh, being uh, improved upon or just maintained. So uh, as we see that going further and further, as um, a fight in the the politic the politic arena. I, w I would um, see that your success as a tool, as a leverage to to show the people. See, there's no need to develop a train uh, and railway because we are we have coach, and the issue is uh, is yet still more sustainable train, and we need uh, a profound and and, uh, and strong tra uh, train uh, network. So that's where I see that maybe they could use it against train, against you know, public investment. Yeah, but uh, train line is not in uh, favor of a totally unregulated market. Uh, we follow the public, uh, the public regulation. So it's a, for the politics to make choice and uh, just have a, a fair market for everyone. But uh, we, we love train. <laughs> We are train line, <laughs> so <laughs> we want more, just more train. We want a night train. We want a, so. Yeah, we are looking the, at the opening of the market, but not a totally uh, unregulated competition. So, I guess that with competition, you know, going on starting 2020, one niche. Um, anyway, with the, with the market opening, we can see more and more competitors jumping in the train market as well. So who knows what that holds for train and investments in that. One more question. Here you are. Um, how are you trying to set yourself apart from your competitors like Omeo or like How are we setting? Who? Uh, <laughs> so um, I see that you're stepping away. That's very cavalry of you. <laughs> Talk about body language. Um, we are right now the number one uh, platform for independent selling, at least in selling independently, coach and train. So I think that's how we're differentiating. For now, we are the one that is combining coach and train results. For now, at least. Omi is doing the same. Sorry? Omi is also having coach and train and planes. And planes. But combine. Sorry. Or not they like don't do combination. Combined as, combined as in like going first with train and then with both yeah. on the same, yeah. same connection, I think. Maybe it was Flix train that was doing that as well. I don't know. No, we are, yeah, we are the, the only ones on this, on this okay, uh, okay. topic. The, it's uh, what we are doing. We try to use uh, at, as much as possible the train to go across Europe, and we f finish with a bus, uh, stuff like that. And we don't do plane. It's a big choice. <laughs> okay, one final question for train line. Hello. Um, how do you manage the transition with Trainline Europe and Trainline UK? 
um, and what will be change, what what will be the the change in the future about that, and yeah. Uh, our plan is to have at the end one app. Uh, we don't know when, but we we want to have one one app. But uh, people from Getarons they know how it's hard. Oh uh, no, they don't, they don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, great. Can we have a round of applause, please, for Julian and Ariana from Trainline? Bravo.